that some guy had at another protest somewhere else. And this sign said, this protest is a visual plea to you, the government, to not make us fight you for our God-given rights. Well, our God-given rights are certainly sacred, but they're not the only things that are sacred. Your faith, your family, and places like this. The Alamo is not to be reimagined. It is to be respected and remembered. And that's it. Now, in the next legislative session, we're going to get the Monument Protections Bill passed. In the meantime, if the damn politicians try to do what damn politicians do, I want to make something abundantly clear. I will organize a body of men, armed men and women, anyone that wants to, to come back here and to do for them what they did for us. And I took my sunglasses off so that the world could see my face because I mean every damn word that I just said. I will fight for this place, not just protest, not just raise hell, I will fight for this place. And that's it. And something else I wanna make very clear. There are no monuments to Hitler on the beaches of Normandy. There are no monuments to Tojo at Pearl Harbor. You will not put a monument to the enemy that these men fought here on this sacred ground. Put it somewhere else and that's your business. You put it here and I'm gonna take my truck and plow right the hell through it. Yeah. 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 And, if you put up, and if you put up another one while I'm in jail, when I get out of jail, I'm gonna go right down to the dealership, I'm gonna buy another truck, I'm going to drive straight here and plow right through the damn thing again. You will never put up a monument to that son of a bitch dictator here on this sacred ground. And that's the bottom line. I want to thank all of you for listening. I want to thank all of you for being here. And God bless Texas. Yeah.